Minnesota tonight, and J.J. will show us the game-deciding shot coming up in a couple of minutes. For a couple of mega fans, the Jazz are everything. News specialist Debbie Worthen met up with them tonight, and while life is slowing down for them, their love for the team is flying high. The Jazz and the Timberwolves right now. It's game night. I love it. I just look forward to it. Making sure Minnesota does not get the link. And Marva and Kendall Jensen There's don't a miss a game. I'm just amazed at some of the shots. Oh, man. When you talk to Marva, yes. there's a warmth about her, and she's sharp. She knows all the stats and knows her players. Oh, that was a little too much. Especially her favorite. I don't know if, if you're ready for me to talk about my boyfriend, as we refer to him. That boyfriend is number 45, Donovan Mitchell. Kendall, you're okay with your boyfriend? <laughs> well, I think it's great that she has one. <laughs> 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 We tease my mom, self-admittedly, and we keep egging her on that she calls Donovan her boyfriend. Right. And so we always want to know how her boyfriend did that night, but she, but she, uh, she loves them all. Marva first became a fan of Mitchell after watching him at a dunk contest. What he said afterward won her over. When they interviewed him after, he referred to his family, and especially his mother. And I thought that was so, so sweet. Kendall's health has taken a turn in recent months, but the family reflects on the amazing zest for life their parents have had and how happy they are to get to spend time with them after a long 2020. I think if one of the lessons we've learned in 2020 is that we're not meant to be alone. Yes. And for Marva and Kendall, the return to jazz basketball couldn't come soon enough. As things start to get back to normal, We've seen a, a real light come back into their life. Way to go, Joe. And they've seen the return of Marva's post-game emails. She only types in uppercase letters when it pertains to the jazz. Did you see my boys tonight? We're so proud. He's such a good guy. In Draper, Debbie Worthen, KSL 5 News. Debbie, thank you. They